These are the ingredients that I use to make the propolis cream. Uh, we have some honey in there, some olive oil, nothing special, uh, some beeswax and the propolis. The beeswax gives it body uh, but it would obviously be too hard as a cream so the olive oil is in there to make it soft. The uh, first thing we have to do is to take the olive oil and the cream, uh, sorry the wax rather, uh, and melt that down and so we'll do that next and then we'll come back later. Right, the uh, wax, uh, wax, beeswax and the um, uh, olive oil is all melted down in a sort of bambery type thing and you can probably see it's all in there, very hot. The other stuff, the honey, propolis and um, a little bit of olive oil has been mixed up and what happens now is the wax and the um, olive oil will slowly uh, cool down keep stirring it and eventually it starts going milky and becomes more solid at which point uh, we add the um, the honey and propolis mix so we'll come back when that's time to be done after a very long time uh, the um, wax and the olive oil is starting to go creamy and set to a custard consistency the um, honey and propolis just needs to be added to it now and then it's whisked uh, so it's all mixed in properly. like this, these are 25mm I think, something like that, that's little brown plastic pots with a um, cap, um, this is still very um, soft, that's my dog Charlie barking at the postman, and so we fill all of these up and then uh, we'll come back once they're all done and uh, it's all set. And this is how it's turned out. Um, it's, quite, it's quite soft compared to the stuff I've made before. Uh, when I first started making it, it was quite hard, so you either put more olive oil in or, or um, less wax, but it's turned out fine. The only other thing that I uh, need to do now uh, is label it up. And, uh, oops, we have that as a label. Uh, because this is applied to the skin it's classified as a cosmetic and uh, even if you're not selling it just give it away cosmetics have to be approved uh, and tested before they can be sold or given away uh, which is not the greatest process in the world and cost a couple hundred quid one of the things you have to do is on the labeling packaging somewhere you have to put a whole load of stuff uh, so I put this on um, little label at the bottom of the pot and it's almost completely unreadable but it's what you need to do 
So we've made about 17 there, which will last me quite a while, and that's how you make propolis cream.